Hello nurses, this is Kevin with NursingCamp.com and these are my scribble notes on nursing in the NCLEX. Today's focus is on cardiac telemetry camp, cardiac lecture number 50, hot blocks, type 2, Winky Bach and Mobitz, second degree hot block. And hot block is a P thing, a player thing, it's baseball. And that's kind of what we're talking about in our understanding of what hot blocks truly are. Now in the previous lecture I talked about the sticky note and how I lay out hot blocks and understanding them. I've seen a lot of methods, but this is the method I came up with that just makes sense to me. So follow what you want to follow, um, but let's get into it. So what I talked about in the previous lecture was, you know, um, in baseball there is, uh, there is four bases. Okay? And each base is representative of a QRS complex. So there's a QRS for everyone, right? The journey to each base is the PR interval. Okay. And a normal player um, has a normal PR interval, which is 12 to 20. So that is normal conduction. Uh, there's a QRS after every P wave. Okay, the next thing. Let's talk about, we talked about first degree hot block. And we talked about slowpoke. And Slowpoke is our first baseman. And he's a first degree hot block. And we call him Slowpoke. And we call him Slowpoke because he doesn't take a normal PR. What he does is he takes a slow journey away. And he, but what happens is he touches all the bases. And um, so you see a PR with a QRS. But the PR interval is long and slow. So, and that is generally anywhere from 20 to 30. So that's first degree hot block. Well, this one we're gonna talk about two more players, and this is called second degree hot block. Well, in, in second base, right, there is a second base player and a shortstop, okay? So on second degree, there's a second base player, and then there's a shortstop, okay? So let's get into these two right here and what's going on with that. All right, so <clears throat> our second baseman is up next, and our second baseman we call number two. We call Winky Bot. So that second baseman, right, so we're going to look at what happens with him. So he comes up to bat, and he kind of takes the same strategy. And if you know that one is going to be slow poke, you can go right to two, and he's also going to be slow. So he's going to go like this. His PR interval is going to go long. So he follows the same thing as slow does on first degree. So Winky Bach goes longer and longer. So long, Winky Bach. Hey, Winky Bach, go back. See, what happens is he doesn't conduct. He misses a base. So what, what these patients do with Winky Bach, the PR interval gets longer and longer. So much, we call it going, going, gone, where there is no conduction. So you see the PR, and what happens is, is it gets lost. So that's an interesting thing about Winky Back. Winky Back, go back, right? So because you missed a conduction, you missed a QRS. So generally what happens is he takes a longer route first and longer at the second, and then the so long he misses the third base, and then there becomes no contraction. But what happens is he continues on, and that is type 2 Winky uh, Second degree, type 1, Winky Bach. Generally, it's caused by an inferior um, MI. Okay. Winky Bach is always inferior to uh, Mobitz because Winky Bach is the second baseman and, and Mobitz always gets um, the line drives. All right. Anyways, just digressing a little bit there. All right. So, uh, Winky Bach. Play two. 
So because we have um, that second baseman, right? So that's Winky Bach. Now we have the shortstop. Shortstop here. He's also in the second base section. So he's also a second degree. We call him Mobitz. Now Mobitz, two. All right, so Mobitz two is um, interesting because what he does is that it's interesting because what he does is he kind of does the same thing that his uh, that Winky Bach does, but he doesn't learn. What he does is is that he runs right to the base, so his PR is normal. Okay, but he's kind of a Fritz, right? So, you know, Mobitz is a Fritz. And what he does, he gets so excited, he runs again to this one. And PR is normal. But this one, he doesn't conduct. He doesn't touch the base. So you see no conduction. So it's the same thing as, it's a second degree in Winky Bach. But Winky Bach has a prolonged PR. Mobitz doesn't. He runs right to the bases, but he's so excited, he forgets to touch the base. So what you'll see is that you'll see a conduction, normal PR, normal PR, and all of a sudden a P, but no conduction. So he drops a conduction. He drops a QRS. So there's a QRS um, without prolonged PR. And that's the big thing with that. So his PR level will be anywhere from 20, 12 to 20. Where Mobitz, um, where I mean Winky Bach, will have anywhere from 20 to uh, 30 plus. It gets longer and longer and longer. So that's Mobitz too. So we covered three of them. We covered our, our, our first baseman, you know, in a slow poke. And then we covered our second baseman, Winky Bach. Winky Bach, go back to third. You've missed it. And he missed it because he took this long journey around to the different bases. However, Mobit says, well, I'm just going to go to run at every base. And he goes at the same speed with his normal PR to every single base. But he still skips a QRS. So you don't see a conduction of it. So that's about it for me. Uh, next one I'm going to cover is a third degree heart block. So this is camp or nursing camp. And um, this is from my study sheet found on uh, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Etsy and nursingcamp.com. That's it for me, nurse on. We'll see you next time.